Welcome to Back to Fact. Today we're going to talk about one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. John Wayne Gacy. Gacy was a successful businessman and community leader who moonlighted as a clown at children's parties. But behind this facade was a sadistic killer who murdered at least 33 young men and boys between 1972 and 1978. Gacy's victims were lured to his home with the promise of a job or a place to stay. Once inside, he would drug and strangle them, then bury their bodies in the crawl space of his house. The bodies of 29 of his victims were eventually found and four others were found in the Des Plaines River. Gacy was eventually caught and confessed to his crimes. He was sentenced to death and executed by lethal injection in 1994. If you're not familiar with Gacy's story, I encourage you to stick around. It's a fascinating and horrifying tale that will stay with you long after you've finished watching this video. But before we get started, I want to ask you a favor. If you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll stay updated every time we upload. John Wayne Gacy was born on March 17, 1942 in Chicago, Illinois. He was the second of three children and the only son of John Stanley Gacy, an auto repair machinist, and Marion Elaine Gacy. Gacy's parents were of Polish and Danish descent. Gacy's childhood was marked by abuse and neglect. His father was an alcoholic who was physically and emotionally abusive to his wife and children. Gacy's mother was often absent, as she worked long hours to support the family. One of the most significant events in Gacy's childhood was the death of his father in 1969. Gacy's father had been a major source of abuse in his life, and his death left Gacy feeling lost and alone. Another significant event in Gacy's childhood was his sexual assault by a man in his early teens. This experience had a profound impact on Gacy, and it may have contributed to his later criminal behavior. There were a number of patterns or behaviors in Gacy's childhood that may have foreshadowed his future criminal activity. For example, he was a shy and withdrawn child who struggled to make friends. He also exhibited signs of sadistic behavior, such as torturing animals. Additionally, he was sexually assaulted by a man in his early teens. John Wayne Gacy was a serial killer who murdered at least 33 young men and boys between 1972 and 1978. His victims were typically lured to his home in Chicago, Illinois, with the promise of a job, drugs, or money. Once inside, Gacy would handcuff his victims and then either strangle them or suffocate them with a plastic bag. He would then bury their bodies in the crawl space of his home. Gacy's modus operandi was to target young men and boys who were vulnerable and easy to manipulate. He often preyed on runaways, homeless youth, and those who were struggling with drug addiction. He would pose as a friendly and helpful person, using his position as a contractor to gain the trust of his victims. Gacy's crimes were discovered when a 15-year-old boy escaped from his home and reported Gacy to the police. The police searched Gacy's home and found the bodies of 26 of his victims buried in the crawl space. Gacy was arrested and confessed to the murders. He was convicted of 33 murders and sentenced to death. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994. The investigation presented numerous challenges as the police worked to identify missing persons and gather evidence. They also had to address public fear and anxiety surrounding the case. Crucial breakthroughs in the investigation included the discovery of a receipt for handcuffs purchased by Gacy, which helped identify him as a suspect. Additionally, the police matched Gacy's DNA with that of one of his victims, marking the first use of DNA evidence to convict a serial killer. Though the investigation had its share of mistakes, such as delayed searches of Gacy's home, the police ultimately succeeded in bringing him to justice. Gacy's psychological profile remains a topic of debate among experts. Some consider him a psychopath characterized by a lack of empathy, remorse, and manipulative tendencies. Others suggest he exhibited sociopathic traits, often associated with a history of criminal behavior. Furthermore, Gacy displayed other psychological abnormalities, including narcissistic personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, and sexual sadism. These disorders manifested as a grandiose sense of self-importance and need for admiration, instability in mood and relationships, and sexual arousal from inflicting pain or suffering on others. Gacy's complex and dangerous nature allowed him to charm and manipulate, but also led to extreme violence and cruelty. Gacy stood trial in 1980s for the murders of 33 young men and boys in Cook County, Illinois. The 
trial lasted six weeks, and the jury deliberated for just over an hour before returning guilty verdicts on all counts. His defense argued that he was insane at the time of the murders, presenting expert witnesses to support their claim. However, the prosecution built a strong case, and the jury found Gacy guilty. Notable moments during the trial included the defense team's attempt to introduce evidence of Gacy's childhood trauma, which the judge deemed inadmissible. Gacy also took the stand, denying responsibility for the killings and claiming to be a victim of conspiracy. However, the jury found this testimony lacking credibility. Gacy was sentenced to death and executed by lethal injection in 1994, making his trial one of the most infamous in American serial killer history. John Wayne Gacy, a notorious serial killer, led a double life as a successful businessman and community leader while committing heinous crimes. His abusive childhood, traumatic experiences, and early signs of sadistic behavior foreshadowed the violence that would later inflict on his victims. Gacy's modus operandi involved luring vulnerable young men and boys to his home, where he would assault and murder them. The investigation uncovered the grim reality of his crimes, leading to his conviction and execution. The case of John Wayne Gacy serves as a chilling reminder that evil can hide behind a seemingly ordinary facade. It raises broader questions about the depths of human depravity and the importance of vigilance in recognizing and stopping such atrocities.